Well, here we go. We're getting ready to start. And let's see how the experience of 20 years pickleball, husband and wife, does against Elaine and Stan. So, I think they're going to have good communication anyway. Yeah. They've been married for 30 years. <laughs> Let's hope they, they communicate right. on the court. Right. So on this side of the court, we have Art and Sue, husband and wife. And on the other side, we have Elaine and Stan. And I think Stan goes by the uh, nickname Stan the Man. All right. I think that's what he likes. All right. And Elaine to serve at 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, and she just throws up a lob right away. Well, that could have been a surprise factor. I can't, about the only person I know back home at the high level that throws up a lob on the first point is Enrique. Enrique Ruiz, <laughs> who's, who is one of the finalists yeah. for the Pickleball Hall of Fame. As are you, Steve. Well, I'm honored to be one of those finalists. It's pretty exciting. And that ball's hit out. One zero one. Oh, that's a nice oh, grab. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow. Good shot. Yeah. Two zero. Sue serving. Oh, we had a little, that's unforced error on that one. Yep. And that's how the game is won, isn't it, Seymour? No doubt about it. Let the opponents make the errors, especially at this level. Four zero one. one Now there goes another high lob. Lane's handled that pretty good. Falls out. Oh. I think they're talking about that was an out ball that, that she, she hit. hit. But yeah. Steve, I, I don't know about you, but I find that to be one of the more difficult things uh, to be able to recognize is, is that out ball. I mean, I know it, what, it, it changes so drastically when you change balls. So, you know, you just start getting used to being able to say, you know, anything above your chest with a Dura ball, let it fly, right? Right. And then all of a sudden you come out here in our first match, we had a couple balls that were probably head height and they dropped right. in. Dropped right in. Yeah. The hard part about it is it's split second decision making yeah. whether to get out of the way or block volley it. Yeah. And sometimes if it's right at your body, it's tough to get out of the way of those right. shots. So you're almost forced to do a block volley. Mm -hmm. And then your partner's telling you, well, that ball was out. Well, yeah, but I, I couldn't get out of the way. So I did what the best, next best thing was to do a block volley. Sue is trying something they probably thought would be effective would be to lob, get in a straight across dink rally with Elena and then throw a lob up over her. But Stan anticipated that yeah, and came over and smashed it. Ball, ball, ball. ball, ball. That's the other reason I like stacking with the, uh, the woman on the right, yeah. if they're two right-handers, because if they can lob the woman, you can come over and hit that as an overhead. Or if you have to let it bounce, it's easier to run and hit a forehand off that yeah. than a backhand. And, 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 and that's exactly it, because now, if she's going to get lobbed, it's a backhand for him. And that's right. one of the toughest shots right. in pickleball, doing the backhand smash. And also, if they throw the, the lob up over her backhand, he can't cover for her. Right. Oh, there's and number there's one. number one. Well, okay, I, I said two, you said three. Uh, <laughs> at the, you're at the, going at this rate, you're going to win the bet. <laughs> We're at zero five. Ball. So it's, this is kind of interesting. Um, I, we, we have a disagreement of some kind. Ref's calling him in. 
in Seymour when we haven't had refs all week? No, I have no conferences. Yeah. There's been zero conferences yeah. on the court. If, if there was a question, they they immediately uh, said yes, no, and they, and they continued play. Right. Now we have a ref and we have uh, Immediate issue. Controversy. Yeah. And they're, and they're replaying the point. Whatever that was, I don't even know. That's gonna be a perfect lot. Well, so um, there's what we were just talking about, Riff. Yeah. Um, he couldn't pick that up it, no because it's his it. backhand. Yeah. If the, it was the only thing he could have done is run let, back and let and it bounce, and, it bounce. and it'd still be a backhand. And it'd still be a backhand, but then then he would have had at least a shot to do a, th a, back, a third shot drop on it. Nice little pop by Elaine. Nice pop right to the forehand. Yep. Because he's sitting there in the backhand grip. So that was a nice shot by Elaine. Two five. Let's see if she goes back to that lob again. There it is. Well, Let's except it's over it him. Person. Yeah. Well, there's, there's an excellent one. Yeah. So there we go. Why do we stack in mixed doubles? There's the perfect example. We've just given two points away because of because not, stacking. not stacking. That's up. And you can tell that Elaine is is aware of this because she did a regular she attempted a regular third shot drop when she was on the left hand side, but when she was directly across from Sue, that's when she did the lob, and that's why why that she's won two points. That's just oh, play, ex excellent shot thing. by Stan. Yeah, that was just good. I'm, I'm, I'm all, all by Art, players. right? Art, Art hit a great block into the open court. Yep. And he had very good technique. That was a short, short swing, yep. short back swing. Very compact. Kept the ball down low. Well, she tried it again, but uh, that, that was what we call a slob. Well, a lob. Right, and she has smaller area to work with when the girl is on the right because yep. it's over her forehand. Back home, Bonnie Williams calls that a lob failure. <laughs> so shout out to Bonnie. Yeah, hi, Bonnie. Hope you're listening. You're probably not because I think you're flying back from Tournament of Champions right now. Yeah. But congratulations on two, two bronze medals at the Tournament of Champions for the senior pros, Bonnie. Singles and women's doubles. We had a bit of a changing of the guard at TLC this year, didn't we? We, we did. Yeah, I, and, I can't remember the time when uh, Simone did not medal in uh, ladies' doubles, right? Right. And she came back and, and won it with uh, in mix with Kyle, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. And we're switching sides because we're halfway through. It's 8-3. Again, here we, we play gold medals here with one game, win by two. So you need to, this 8-3 is a nice start to have. Yeah, yeah starting out fast is uh, real critical. That ball's out. Now why is he out there again? I think... Possibly there was a wrong server when they switched sides. Uh, we're just kind of, I'm trying to watch to see. Conference again. Yeah. Well, they're a pair that have been playing pickleball a long time and they don't seem to agree. This is just taking too long. This is just breaking the rhythm of the match. If it's called, call it and, get, and send them back. Otherwise,
I can't hear what they're saying, so I don't know what the decision is. But again, like we said, we uh, We've got haven't haven't had any conferences when when there aren't uh, referees. Eight, three something. We'll. So I just heard Roger say that she w she was the wrong server. Now it's eight three two. So maybe Roger was correct on that. Yeah. You know, since we didn't have refs all week, if a wrong server did serve, nobody would say right, right, right. Nine three. It was barely out, very close, but I would call that ball out too. I'm sitting on the line. 3-9-1. I think she felt like it. I think she felt like the ball skipped on the floor on that one. Now, what paddle is she using? You know all Well, that's a paddle tech. That's an older paddle tech. Yeah, yeah. Gonna get to that ball. Yeah, he's Stan is quick. Yeah, Stan's quick, yeah. and uh, that ball was out, but sometimes it's hard to get out of the way because you anticipate the, the ball. That's an important part of pickleball, and you're so quick to get put the paddle where you see the ball is going. It's hard sometimes to get it away, to get it out. Is that in or out? I think it was out. Okay. 941. Art serving. Nine four two. Two third shots in the net. Right. Not the way you want to try to close this match out. I, I don't know if I've told you this, Seymour, but every time I miss a third shot, I lose two seconds of my life. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> I always say I'd rather hit the ball over the net every time, even if it's a little bit long. I just don't want to hit the ball into the net. Yeah! Hit the ball into the net and your opponent drops dead, you lose the point. <laughs> yeah, to a dead man. <laughs> Now she's getting a little, Bob happy now. A little bit out, a little bit out. Sometimes you can go to the well a little bit too often. 9-4. And a ball on the court. Nice yeah. Lane. That ball was low. Volley dink. Yeah. I mean, that ball was down by her ankle. She made a nice shot. Oh, open court. Yeah. Looks like Elaine could have put her paddle on it. She thought that ball was going out. I, th I think so. It was high. It was over her shoulder, yeah. but there wasn't much on it, so it just dropped in easily too. Okay. And we're at 10-4. Ooh, did she touch that? I think she did. Well, maybe, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I thought I saw it change direction. Art tried to yell no as quick as he could, but it's hard for her to pull her paddle back out of the way. Oh, and okay, yeah. He's just, Roger's just making sure that she did touch the ball. Score is 4-10-1. Elaine serving. Hey! Hey! 
So that's a pretty, perfect example, Seymour. I do not like lobbing from the baseline, especially in mixed doubles, because who's going to hit the overhead? Of course, the guy's always going to move over to get that ball. And, and she started actually targeting the, mm -hmm. the guy. I mean, he's just I stand. Uh, I mean, um, Art just said me, 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 and yeah. hit all those. Yeah. Actually, even in men's doubles, if you have one of those guys has a powerful overhead, uh, well, I don't like lobbing from the baseline anyway. If you Never. look at the percentages, yeah. I mean, if you've got a, a great topspin lob, and you know, I've seen Tony Tolan maybe once in a game, and it's a, and then it's been effective. But you know. You're not going to be able to win many matches if you're going to try to make a living on it. So there's a good example of stack, how st stacking helped Art and Sue. They tried to lob Sue, and they she's short. Yeah. They could lob her. But Art said me as soon as the ball went up there, went over, gets her out of the way, and hits an overhead. Yeah, and, and you know, it was done because she was in the normal position for a mix. She was on the right-hand right. side, and he was on the left-hand side. Right. Now, they do get to call timeouts here in the finals. So all the rest of this tournament, yeah, uh, there were no, timeout. no timeouts. And I didn't know that because I yeah, called timeouts called, yeah. one, one of ours, and they just let us have it. Yeah. They, they must have given the old men some pity. Yeah, that was, I think they did. <laughs> so Seymour and I had a great time playing men's doubles with, with the 19 on plus hot shots here. And uh, we had a great time. Uh, but I'll tell you this, when you start teaching these young kids all, the, all your tricks, which is what Seymour's been coming up here doing, teaching, uh, and you're older than them by a long shot, uh, who, who has the advantage, Seymour? Well, we like to think that we have the experience and a little bit of a mental advantage, but it didn't do much good no. with, when it came to who's quicker on the court and who's got the faster reflexes, right? Right. right. Although we do have some bragging rights. We because do. Because we, we think that uh, uh, the, the one team that we beat pretty handily, 21-year-old uh, uh, and the 19-year-old, uh, they're going to be a, a force to reckon with, and we'll always be able to say, oh, yeah, we took those guys down pretty handedly. Well, actually, they did make it to the semifinals of the 19s, yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, nice angle on yeah. Stan's overhead. And the score is 4-11. Remember, this is a, for the gold, game to 15. 4-11. win by two. Oh! He's protecting her face, and yeah. that ball just uh, kicked off and, and for a winner. <laughs> Even Stan's giggling about that one. Yeah. And that's a side out. This is when you tell your partner, let's get off 11. Yeah. Let's just get to the next point, 11-4. You know, and it's funny how it works. If you get stuck on a number, it just seems like that game is just good. You're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. And once you get off that number, you can rail off four right, or five points right. in a row. It's like, you know, you got stuck on six for, for, you know, four different side outs. And all of a sudden you get one point and all of a sudden you rattle. Well, I think one reason they might be stuck is because it's uh, they're in the reverse stacking position with the woman on that side. That's right. Although they took advantage there. They took advantage of it that time. But it, they've lost a heck of a lot more than, than they've won if they would have been uh -huh. in, in the right position. The typical position for mixed mixed play. Twelve four two. Oh, he yelled me a little late, yeah. and uh, his his wife Sue just didn't quite get out of the way. 
one thing that, that Stan did really good is he, he, he lobbed right to that corner, so it was a lot further distance for the guy to get to. And, and that lob was a top spin lob, it wasn't just kicked up, it, it, it was what you could do against a shorter player. You, you can keep that ball down lower and try to get a little bit of top spin on it so it runs away from it. I think it's 512. The scoreboard hasn't been officially changed, but um, I'm going to see. I'll see if I can hear what Rogers saying. We got a little bit of a run going. Rogers, I think I was. We were. Using the scorecard. I was having a six twelve one six twelve one. Good. Very, very good drop volley by yeah, Stan. Very good drop volley, he's right. He was, he was behind the baseline uh -huh. and Stan wisely did a drop. 7-12. They got a nice run here. Let's see if they can keep it going. Oh, so I know that Roger has uh, actually himself ran quite a few tournaments in his seven years of uh, pickleball. I think, wasn't Roger the tournament director for one of the nationals uh, maybe about four or five years ago? May, may have been. Scores tightening up a little bit. It's 8 12. Well, they've rattled off, I think, four or five points mm -hmm. in a row, haven't they? Yeah. And they're on second serve, so let's see if they can keep it going. That's out. So it's 9 12. Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing is, when the guy does run over there, if he doesn't put that overhead away, there's a total open court. That's going to be out, I think. Ooh, just I don't out. know. Was it called out? Yeah, I think it was just out. They're asking, and, and he That's, confirmed. Yep. Twelve nine. Twelve nine. Three point game right now. That's good. Oh, good, good angle. Yeah, right behind him. I think he saw he was starting to move to the middle, and uh, Elaine made a very nice, crisp backhand volley cross court. Oh, another angle. Well, two times in a row. So the it's side out. And uh, Elaine and Stan, they've got a nice little run going. Mm -hmm. Nice little run going. And we're up to second serve. Bye, Anthony. See ya. Just saying goodbye to a new friend I made during this tournament, Anthony. Anthony, the new level two instructor. Yeah, level two. Well, he did it all. He did level he one. Did, he yeah. did, yeah. the CRS workshop, and he did level two. And I he was all in. Yeah. I had a good time. I got to certify his skills, and I think he only missed two shots the entire uh, yeah. tournament that he missed. It's a difficult test. Different, difficult skill test to people who don't know. We are at 12, 12, 10, 1. 12, 10, 1. So they've been stuck on 12 yeah. here for at least two side outs. That's going to be good too. That's a great touch. 
Nice drop volley again. So Stan's really got uh, his, his opponent thinking because he's thrown up a couple lobs. So he's staying back in case he's got a run. And then he just did a, a nice little drop volley. He's got a good lob, a good overhead. Good it's placement. Side out again. It's side out again. 10 12. So they've been stuck on 12 for a while. And this is what we were talking about before, Steve. How you can just get stuck on a number and bad things can happen then. And it was 12 4 at one point, I believe. And now it's 9. 11. Yep, they just moved. No, 11 12. 11 12, yeah. 11 12. Well, that one's not going to work. Oh, my God. Ooh, we are tied up. 12, 12, 12. So far, the finals have been very good, very close matches very today. Yeah. Matches, all of them. The, the, our last final went 15-13, uh, I believe. Yeah, and, it did. And this could, could, yeah. could go to that as well. And we have a timeout. Putting our paddles down in the correct spot. Server puts the ball under the paddle so they won't be confused who comes back and serves. Shoulders are up to during the match. Yeah. Just before we came in. Oh, Stan's oh, coming no. Stan's coming over and talking to us. He thinks he has a tear in his rotator cuff. He's, oh, he's going to keep playing, right. But, yeah, he says he's all right, but if he has a tear in there, that's going to be a little bit of uh, recovery time. After. More overheads, that's going to it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what, you know, what, as a senior, Seymour, that's one of our co most common injuries is rotator injuries. and. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of things you need to do to prevent those with bands, and yeah. I, that's you gotta strengthen your yeah. You got to yeah. You got you got to do yeah. lightweight to, to maintain the integrity of, of the structure around the shoulder. Now, one of the things I learned about the rotator cuff, my my wife's had both her shoulders done. She she's done, never done any a athletics in her entire life, and in talking to the doctor, you got that great hustle. The, her doctor said that about 50% of the seniors end up with rotator mm. cuff injuries through age. It's wow. just that naturally a, 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 an area of the, of the, just from doing repetitive, huh. simple things like yeah. you know, lifting dishes up uh, in, on the uh, I didn't realize that. and stuff like that. Uh, so it just shows the importance of trying to do a little bit of you know weight training. Wow, I thought he was gonna go down the middle on that one. Wow, we just scored a point on that. So we are now at 13-12. So they take in the lead for the first time. Mm -hmm. First time, first time, 13-12. And Stan just wants to get this match over so he can go ice his uh, rotator. So it's side out. And it's 12 13. Yeah. They've been stuck on 12 yeah. at least for five side outs. If they can get off 12, I think they, maybe they'll get some momentum and some confidence. But they've got to be thinking right now mentally, like, what's going on? And There's a drop volley, volley again. again. So they're finding out that that's working. Yeah. And I think it's working, as I said before, because he's standing back thinking that he's going to get a lob. And he's got to go over to protect the. Uh, but, you know, every, every one of those, though, is because Stan got to hit those out of the air, so he had options. Yeah. Uh, where if he would have hit a ball bouncing, right. then he would have had time. Right. They would have had time to get up. And we're at wow. match point right now. Match point. Oh, no. No, and I think it's out. side out. Side out. All right. So it's 13 12 still. 13 12. They've just been stuck on 12. Unbelievable.
Ooh, that's got to hurt if your rotators. Oh, that's out. My shoulder hurt just watching him hit the overhead knowing he's got a bad rotator. 13-12-2. Well, he's not, he, he, he's not giving any signs of an injury. So, that's probably a good thing. Otherwise, the component, you know, his opponents would probably be lobbing him all right. day. Okay, it's now it's Matt's point. The volley lob, and it gave him just a split second less to get over there. So he missed hit the overhead. We're at 14-12-2, Matt's point. Ooh. Oh, a little bit. Confusion who's going to hit one of those balls. They were both going for it at the same time. Well, this has got to be the sixth or seventh time they've been stuck on 12. It's unreal. We talked about it. Oh, there it is. Now, it's going to be interesting. They got off 12. Can they just roll through and finish, close this match out? because that, that's the hardest thing, getting that first point. Get off 12. They, there's a sigh of relief just that they got that right. got off 12. Right. Gives you a different attitude. It does. So we're at 13-14-2, correct? Right. 13-14-2, and, and it's going down to the wire just like the, the final before, Steve. Mm -hmm. We're tied. We are tied, and as soon as they got off 12, they've been able to get those points. Just the, the mental outlook changes. It really does. You start tightening up a little bit. It's quite natural, especially when you've had a big lead, and now there's a sigh of relief we got back to being tied. So it's anybody's game at this point. It's good hands. Oh, great hands by both teams. Yeah. Now we have a match point. We got a match point on the other side. Fifteen, fourteen, or fourteen, thirteen. We know it's match point. Yeah. Fourteen, thirteen, right? 14-13-2. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. And that's the match with the return to serve that's long. Oh, it was a great match. So our husband-wife team with the 20 years pickleball experience wins that. Sue and Art Severn win that over Elaine Shellcross and Stan Johnson. Great match.